Hey, friends and family from Ronnie's Farm to Table. It's me and Kaiser, and it's a chilly Thursday morning in October here. It's about 35 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and in Celsius, that would be about one degree. So I'm gonna go as quick as possible in the barn and see what I can do there. Brrr, sure was chilly out there. Nice and warm and toasty in the growing room here. It's about 70 degrees. And today's plan is building the filter box down here, getting a hole saw four inches to drill into the tote back here so we can get the airflow in here going. Also up here we need a hole too. Um, yeah and then also shorten the bench, the sauna bench and probably take a little bit down on the width. It's awfully close to the sauna heater there and if I want to use it as a person it would be too close for my own comfort. So I'm gonna do that and I probably have to go underneath one of our buildings. That was an issue a while ago where the furnace unit started to sink into the floor because it's an old trailer, it's about 60 years old. And I have to go underneath it, crank it up. I hate dark places, but I have to do it. So stick with me, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I thought I was recording how I took the bench apart, did it halfway, bit the steps, but instead of being in the video mode, I was in the photo mode and I figured out later. But here we are, it looks good. The bench folds now, I'm gonna lock it in. It sits like this. I'm gonna do the legs later where you can fold them in so you get lots of space in here so you can put several shelves in here. Um, looks great, feels good, sturdy. I like it. Let's go in the grow room. There's a bunch of projects we have to get done over there too. Hey, here we are in the growing room. And let me show you what I'm gonna do with my humidifier totes. Um, first of all, I gotta cut four inch holes, two of them here. Uh, one with a little fan blowing in, and the other one is just open for the steam to come up. Uh, the steam will be produced by this guy here. This is a supersonic humidifier. It floats in the tote on the water and produces a lot of steam coming up here. Uh, also, I got the sterilizer here, a UV sterilizer that goes inside the tote. With still water, you gotta be careful. Um, you gotta clean it often, make sure there's no mold or anything in it. And with the humidity that comes up, sometimes that mold goes in the tent and you don't want any of that stuff in your soil. That's why we have a sterilizer here. So let's get to it. Okay, so now you kind of can see a little bit more how to assemble this. It's, this is a very simple fan that will be running all the time. It's actually low energy, it's on a USB cord. In here is the mister, and here it comes out the back. On top of here will be one of those loops connected, and then it goes in the tent. First, I have to let dry the silicone around it to make sure that it's all nice and sealed so there's no stream coming out of these corners here and I think I did a pretty good job so on to the next project time to build the filter box I got over there some 2x4s leftovers from the sauna project and they're just about a half an inch too long so I have to cut each individual one down to 16 inches I have some OSB boards here and the filter box is not going to be very big it's going to be 16 by 16 and probably about 8 inches depending how much I'm going to use for the 2x4s and the filter box is just kind of a, a precautionous thing. It's not really necessary. As a mushroom grower, you don't want to produce spores. When you produce spores, it means that the mushroom was too long alive and you didn't harvest it at the prime time. 
when it releases the spores, the mushroom really quickly dies. So it's just a precaution thing. It's not really necessary, but I like to have it just in case. All right, let's go get at it. recap what we did today we got the filter box good there's a nice airflow going from there up there over here and we got the humidifier toes ready to go in 24 hours I can start using them it's been a good day let's see if I want to go out of the house I'm not sure yet so you guys it's gonna be another cold night if you have plants out cover them up well that's it for today I'll put a little old Kaiser inside, and here we go. Good boy. Hey, come on. Keep moving. Nope, those are not your snacks. Come on. Excuse me. Bye Kaiser, you had a good day outside. And sit with you. Bye.